Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky Part 43 of last time. We left uh, the tower place, Car Carnelia Tower, I think is what it was called. Uh, yeah, Car yeah, Carnelia Tower. We left that after fighting the very, very annoying enemies at the top of the tower. Uh, we made our way back to town where we learned that Agate had actually been poisoned in our last encounter and now we are in this cave to get some moss and we are joined by Mr. Big Man here who is a bracer from the Calvard Republic and he's going to help us out for a little while. We're actually I think at the end of the cave and I assume when we walk over this way we'll get attacked by monsters and it'll be a boss fight and it's going to be really annoying and I'm going to bitch a lot. But hopefully not. Maybe they'll just let us take the stuff and leave. Look at that! Maybe that glowing stuff is the, is the Zemuria moss. I wasn't expecting the moss to be so pretty either. Why does it glow? Probably because it has a lot of components that make up set. Shut up, Joshua. Come on, let's gather it up so we can return to Zeiss. Okay, that's it. No monsters. No, no monsters. Uh, huh? Hopefully it's just one big monster. I would rather have that than a bunch of small ones. What do we got? Yo, it's a big bird! Is that a is that a penguin? An evil penguin? <laughs> Look at her face, man. Whoa! Hmm. I guess that's the ruler of the cave lake. I don't think we're getting out of here without a fight. Please, no minions. He's he's got minions. Okay. It's all they're all spread out, unfortunately. Can we flick? We can get, at least get a double flick off. I think we want to flick. It doesn't really matter which one we flick. We'll flick the yellow one. Yo, that did a lot of damage. Oh, because we got the plus 10. Yeah, because the penguins are occasionally paralyzed with fear. I don't know if it's just the penguins or not. I think we taunt their asses. Um. Um. Why does he have 8,000 HP? Anybody, uh. Anybody want to explain that to me? Okay, he's immune to taunts, because why wouldn't he be immune to taunts, you idiot? We can... There we go. Oh, the perfect. Granted, they're all just going to move, actually, aren't they? Well. Mm, oh, wait, can we... Uh, we can't just barely clip that up. Oh, we can, T to the God. She's too good. She can't be stopped. Okay, well, I would have preferred if it didn't. Actually, it does water-based damage. Does he resist water, maybe? I wouldn't even pay any attention to his uh, resistances. Yeah, he doesn't take very much water damage. We still got blinds off, which is good. At least on these two. I mean, I ain't complaining, man. You want to be paralyzed? Be my guest. I'm not really a fan of this dude having 8,000 HP and more defense than God. Just punch him. Just punch him! Well, she can still barely get her smoke cannon off. Yeah, just one second. I just want to see. What is his elemental resistance? Yeah, he resists water. And her attacks are water-based because of the accessory we got in the tower on the first run. Can we blind him? No, he resists the blind. Did it not hit this dude? Ouchers. Oh, we can't flick. That sucks. We can kill this guy, hopefully, as long as we hit. Nice. He hit for the weed number, lol. I mean, I ain't really complaining about them being paralyzed for fear every time. What does that do? Okay. Is that it? No. Nothing else? No crazy shenanigans? I wonder if we can petrify. So 
Let's see, which ones? I think we'll go for this one. Ooh, I don't really like her getting up in there like that, though. I was kind of hoping we'd do a little bit more damage and we could actually, uh, please pass it off. At the very least, tell me if it resists. Does it resist? It didn't resist, so maybe we can petrify. Uh, we can't... Hurricane. And we can't actually hit him normally. We do want to heal, though. We all would like to heal Joshua. Oh, well, just heal us. Okay. Joshua has still not been turned into a furry. So far, this fight seems okay. I'm a little worried that he's gonna. He has to have something up his sleeve, though. Because this seems a little too straightforward so far. Honestly, I think you're better off just hitting this dude and letting Tita take that guy out. That kill? Yes. I do not like him having his strength increased. Not a big fan. Yeah. Just ice his ass. Get iced. So we know he's immune to taunt, so there's no point in even trying that. Okay, he gets to go twice in a row, because why wouldn't he get to go twice in a row? D does he really need to be this tanky? God, do I have to sit here for the next fucking 30 minutes just wailing on this dude? That's not fun. I don't think we have like any ways to lower defense or anything. I really need to get her out of there. I kind of I keep forgetting that when she does a regular attack, she has to move so far up. Um, smite him. I think you gotta smite him. Actually, no, you're better off probably. I mean, if we can petrify. As much as I would like to attack with you, just run away. Just get out of the range of his thunder breaths. We could try and go- oh, there's no way the instant KO works. Petrify might, because there is precedent for that working against bosses. But I don't think the instant KO is gonna work. I mean, he's not resisting. Heal us all. Oh my god. Just like 8,000 HP. Like, you can't give him a ridiculous amount of HP and a ton of defense. It's gotta be one or the other, man. Honestly, we should probably just start using fire attacks at Joshua. Does he know fire attacks? Doesn't he have? He has flare arrow. And then, uh... You do not know any fire attacks. We'll try and petrify breath. Okay, so if this... If this doesn't do, like, a bunch of damage... Okay, after, we'll let one more petrify go off, and then we're gonna cut. Because there's no point in this fight taking so... Like, we finally get a good boss fight. That's not, like, stupidly designed. I mean, it's still kind of stupidly designed. But it's not, like, egregiously annoying that you have to keep redoing it over and over again. And then it's just like, you gotta, you gotta sit here for 15 minutes. Because he doesn't, he doesn't take damage, and he's immune to petrify. Fuck me.
Well, hopefully his special attack will finish before he does whatever magic attack he's about to do. I'm, I assume it'll probably just one-shot the entire team and I'll have to waste the next 15 minutes of my life because this is going to do 240 damage exactly. Okay, it killed. So I don't know what his super attack was that he was about to cast, but he didn't get to do it. Um, that took seven minutes past when I cut. He got two of the passive healing effects from the turn order, which healed him for 800 each time. Good, good fight. Set Black Fang as S break, sure. Oh yeah, that was another reason I learned, uh, just kind of messing around in between videos. The reason why we couldn't use what's his name's better ability as his S break is because his like single target will be set. Because apparently you can actually, well, because we haven't we've only had the one, but you have you can actually set which one corresponds to pressing the little button thingy to do your super attack. It was kind of cute, but still scary. Yeah, uh, you probably bonded with it because you've been fighting it for the past three years. Well, we did get some levels at least, so we have uh, MP. Really just need to heal uh, old Tita there. Oh yeah, and uh, my dude. I saw I had a thousand HP. I'm like, oh yeah, that he's basically full HP. Nope. He is... uh. Very, uh, what you would call it? Needing and, um, uh, healing, because he has a lot of HP. That's basically, yeah, but you can set your S break. So, yeah, that hits one person, that hits everyone. Why you would ever want to use the one that doesn't hit everyone, I don't know. But, uh, if you ever did, you could. I mean, it's kind of weird that, uh, what's his name wasn't automatically set to the better one, but. You know, I ain't judging. I mean, I am, but... Especially considering he's in the party for such a small amount of time that you're probably ever gonna, only going to use your ultimate the one time. So it's not even like I really even realize... Because I thought when you press the button... Well, actually, I didn't even know he had the second ultimate until we did that fight with the dudes on the roof. I have zero clue the fuck I'm supposed to get out of here, by the way. Um... I know we did something. I can't. I don't, is that the way we came? I didn't see any other pathways. Okay, nope. You missed me with that. Uh, I guess I'm contractually obligated to fight the chickens. Hmm. I mean, if they don't move, it's great. Don't you dare. Don't just stop. It is time to stop, my dude. This is actually going to be pretty difficult without uh, her ultimate. Okay, they're not moving out of the AoEs. Oh, he lowered his strength, so it's going to do zero damage. It's kind of crazy how much damage it like reduces. I mean, it makes it so you do literally no damage. Oh, there we go. We can't get three. There we go. Okay, we can hit. We can't hit the last B penguin. How much? She has 13 CP. It jumps up to 43. Okay, she only. So she basically gets a full refund when she hits a bunch of people. I could have sworn one time she got more than that, but maybe, maybe I misremembered. Why did that do zero damage? If only someone hadn't blinded you with their smoke cannon. Dude, even a smoke cannon didn't do damage. It would be crazy good. Is that gonna clip this dude? It shouldn't. Whoa! Oh, thank you. Thank you for running away. Okay, so it's just Red, Ma Red Man? As long as we flick him. Can't believe that did that much damage. Oh, 
all oh fuck, it's not actually gonna heal in time. I just assumed it would. Okay, she iced that dude, and then it didn't even hit this guy. Hmm. You gotta taunt. Hey, over here! What? You yella? Oh, you yella? You can't. Oh, if only someone hadn't blinded you. If only the greatest character known to mankind hadn't hit everyone with a fat fucking blind. What are the HP situation looking like? Okay, I don't. I just want to take out Mr. Pink Penguin last, basically. Why is the red penguin so tanky? Penguin missions. I don't know where to, whether to be mad or impressed by that pun. Like, I don't get it. Like, they have... It's not like... No, yeah, they all have no elemental efficiency. I don't know why we just randomly do zero damage. Oh, his strength got... No, no, wait. Was his strength already lower? Whatever. Just hit him. This area sucks, man. Tons of way too tanky enemies. Yeah, you can't hit him. Just move so you don't actually... Oh, I thought that was uh, tied to him. Whoops. And she's gonna barely get clipped by that. Unless she ices him. I don't think she iced him. She did, Tita, the Lord. The Lord of all things. No one can defeat her. Do the pink penguins ever do anything? Like, legitimate question. They do this attack. And it's never hit. So, I mean, I feel like it must do something to crazy good, considering how low accuracy it is and the fact that they don't do anything else. I mean, maybe it like fully like inverts them or something? I don't know. I mean, maybe them confusing, but even then, I mean, confuse isn't that good of an effect. Or I mean, it is, but I mean, if you think of like the, uh, the flame enemies from, what the hell is that? Oh, it's probably a punchy weapon. No? Gun? Better gun. It's got four range. Oh, it has an area medium, so it'll even hit mo fools. How the hell do I get out of here? I got no clue, man. EP charge. The chest is empty. And if you've already used that one, they have kind of started to reuse a lot of the regular chest lines because I guess writing that many is a pain. Where do I go? What do I do, my dude? Is this the exit? Yes. Thank you. Thank you for getting me out of here. Do I go left or right here? I go... I uh, don't go either here. This is not a fork in the road. I mean, it technically is, but not the one we're looking for. So we want to go left. Right, just making sure I'm going the right direction. Looks like I am. We should be seeing some bridges, some sweet bridges. No? No, I think the bridges are before this. I don't know, but that area wasn't so bad. I mean, the boss definitely either should have had half the HP or drastically less defense. It did not need to be that tanky because it didn't do anything. Like it, it just kind of hit you for minor amounts of damage. I don't know. I just it, it didn't need to have eight thousand HP. That much I can say. We're supposed to go to the fourth floor. Oh yeah, I don't know what time we're at because I did stop the recording during that fight because it took so long. Yo, what's up, my dude? Okay. 
Yo, what's up, my girl? Oh, you're supposed to go to the Septium Church. Yeah, my bad. That's not the second floor. I mean, that is the second floor, but that's not where we're supposed to be going. I guess we're going to turn in the moss and everything. I think we are at about 15 or so minutes when I cut it off, and we're at 10 now, so we should be at about 25. Why, why do I keep... I've gone to every wrong place but the fucking church. Thank you for at least telling me that much. Yo. We got the Zemuria Moss! Yeah, it's only taken three days because the penguin fight was took forever. Yes, yes, of course. I need to mix it in the back. Come with me if you please. The blue and gold consecrated by Septium, the source of all things, abides here. It is ready. Here, take this. What a pretty color. Do you drink this? Um, actually, it's a suppository. Uh, mind you, this will not destroy the poison. It will only boost the patient's immune system. How very Eastern. Yes, it does share some of its origin with the more esoteric cures of the East. Go, take with your friend. Okay. Teleport me? God, just why? Why do I have to walk? I don't like walking. Just teleport me. I'm so tired of this stupid fucking factory, man. With all its different floors, and I always go to the wrong one because I'm dumb. Okay, floor four. We're back! Oh man, this dude died like fucking four days ago, uh, you know, after y'all left to go to the cave. I see this will stimulate his natural immune response. Why couldn't we just cast Cure on him? An oral syringe. Adios, please. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Whoa, why is he screaming like that? It's okay, I think he's gonna be fine. What? The medicine is beginning to take effect. It hurts and it's rough on the system, but he'll recover. We should take him out of any immediate danger from the neurotoxin. But he's in so much pain. Yes, and he will be for the better part of a day. But it'll be alright. He's gonna pull through. Maybe he'll experience a tiny amount of the pain I felt doing that boss fight. The one on top of the tower. The penguin boss fight was fine. Just a little annoying. But the one on top of the tower was bullshit. Late into the night, Estelle and the others slept in shifts to watch over him. Hmm, that's strange. Now where's that spare towel? Aha! Agate? He's sweating like crazy. I need to dry him. Agate, are you awake? I'll bring you some water. Mistra? Who the hell's Mistra? Huh? Thank the goddess. There you are. I'm right here. Don't be scared. Just... just... Is that a name we've heard? No, no, I'm thinking of, uh, I'm thinking of Chick from East Origin had a name like that. The, the chick whose name I could never pronounce. It was something kind of weird like that, except it had more letters to it. Because it was unpronounceable. Gradually the pain left his face and his breathing grew less ragged. Soon all was quiet and calm and he drifted off to a peaceful slumber. But, who's Mischa? I mean, it's either little sister or, uh, like a lover or something. I'm gonna go with little sister. I'm truly sorry for having to bid you farewell. Hey, it's okay. We really appreciate all your effort. Your help. Yes, there's much I must, much I must do. If I weren't expected there, I would gladly remain and do my part to resolve this kidnapping incident. Dude, we should be pretty close. We've been doing this 
When did we come to Zeiss? We came in like part 33, 34, and typically these take about 10 parts, 10 to 12 parts per chapter. Don't be silly, you've done a lot for us. Thank you so much. The express flight to cancel aboard the Cecilia will be a party shortly. Departing. Take care. Hopefully we'll meet again, fate willing. You betcha. Oh, how long are you going to be in Libral? I couldn't say for certain, but probably until the Queen's birthday celebration. Yeah, we'll probably see him when we go to Granzel. Man, the Zeiss theme bangs. I think I've said that like almost every video of this chapter, but it does. It's so good. Now then, to the guild first? Maybe they've learned something about the airship from before. Yeah, they might have some intel on the Royal Armed Forces. What are you gonna do, Tita? Um, I think I'm gonna look after Agate. Since he hasn't woken up yet, I don't think he should be left alone. That's fine. Let us take care of finding the professor. You listen to this kid? Do you, does she not remember that when she one shot the entire fucking group of enemies because she's a god? I mean, it would be a lot more like believable to the story if she wasn't actually by far the best character in the game. At the very least, she's the best non-main member. I mean, basically only Joshua can contend for the throne, and maybe Estelle before everyone got taunt. Oh no, it's still still pretty useful, but now that the bosses are on me to taunt, she's not quite as good. And then the ones that you can taunt do infinite damage, like the stupid guys in the tower. I have nothing in common with that jerk. How about your tendency to go off half cocked or how soft hearted you are? The dog's like a big jerk, but he's only trying to protect others. I think that Tita sees that. Oh, well, I can't really argue with that. Fine, let's go see what's up with the guild. Until Agate's up and about, we got plenty we can investigate. Um, I think I'm going to push it since I don't exactly know how long the recording's at. We'll go to the guild and we'll probably stop the guild as soon as we regain control. Morning, Kalika. Good morning. And to you two both. Has Zen already left? Yeah, he took an airliner to Grand Seal some time ago. I wish, you could come I wish you could have come seen him off. Speaking of which, would you two know each other or something? A bit quite some time ago. But that's beside the point. Have you two noticed the strange current in the air? The winds are shifting. Uh, wait, are we talking about the weather? Have you learned something about that airship? Not a thing. But I believe this disquieting atmosphere is related to the Royal Army mobilizing. For one thing, I've sent a message to Army Headquarters at Laystone Fortress, and there's, but there's been no response. Secondly, all the mandatory inspections throughout the kingdom have been lifted. What? What's all that all about? Uh, this is another turf war, like with the Sky Bandits, is it? No, it'd be strange for them to call off inspections if that were the case. If they had caught the culprits themselves, surely they would have sent the word around. Maybe there is something in the air. Incidentally, I've not been able to contact the Intelligence Division at Lystan Fortress either. It's possible that the Royal Army has some sort of internal issue going on. Some sort of... Oh, wait! The stuff that Dorothy shot! The picture of those guys wearing the black, uh, wearing the Royal Army Guard. Royal Guard... Why is she... Did we summon her? Did we Beetlejuice her over here? Wow, what an ordeal. I finally got in touch with my editor's office and they all happened to be there. When I told him I'd give it up my photo court to the army, he still blew a stack. It's so unfair. Which means they haven't given it back yet? Wow, you got some fire to you. Well, I guess I have one redeeming trait, right? Anyway, I didn't have any other option but to take a picture to the fort for the paper. Of the fort for the paper. You took a pretty picture of the fort. Not to mention, you're supposed to obtain permission to photograph any part of the military. You're supposed to obtain permission. Shut up, Joshua. Here, take a look. I just developed it. Yo, is there going to be something in there? Yo, it's the airship. So this is Laystone Fortress. Wow, Dorothy, you really got a good eye for this. What's wrong, Estelle? Uh, do you see anything in the top right? 
you're right. It's not very clear, but there's definitely not very clear. You can very clearly see it's the exact same airship from the uh, from the tower. I mean, I took the picture and I didn't notice that at all. Are you blind, lady? Well, what can I say? Well, it's just a silhouette. Maybe it's an army ship. Uh, that's that's no guard ship. That's no moon. That's a small airship from Besor. It's the same silhouette as the ship the professor was taken away in. How do you know? You weren't there. Wait, what? Hold on just one second. Why would that ship be anywhere near there? Uh, this is a Royal Army installation, isn't it? Calm down, Estelle. There are plenty of possibilities to consider before you go jumping to conclusions. I say we invade the fort. That's the only logical conclusion. What? I see. You intend to put it, them put it to them directly. Provoke, provoke a response. Damn, I can't talk. Granted, this is the... This is only the third video, man. Usually, I get a few more in me before I start to stutter and stumble like this. Uh, not at all. You have my author authorization. Whatever might be going on there, this matter better be handled de delicately. But you're probably right. We have to be handled this very carefully. Hey, Dorothy, can we have a copy of this picture? Sure. After all, you guys have done a lot for me. If you intend to go to Laystone Fortress, you need to leave you the east entrance and take the Ritter Road. I've actually already been there. Um, so you don't need to tell me nut. I went there and they told me to fuck off. That was off screen. Okay, so now we got our objective. Uh, I guess we'll check the bounty board real quick. Just to Another monster. We'll probably find that off screen. And we still haven't found our potent ingredient. And I still can't turn in the book for the date, but whatever. Next video, we will head to Laystone Fortress. I'm McShees87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.